Hey, hey everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. I am so excited for this video. I have been planning it for a really, really long time. This is going to be um, a video compiling just a few of my favorite one and done shadows. And the whole reason I haven't done this video earlier is just because I have so many favorites. Like I think I could do part two, part three, probably like part 10. <laughs> Favorite one and done shadows. That's my favorite way to wear eyeshadow. I love finding exquisite one and dones. So I'm not gonna be sharing all of my favorites today. I'm definitely gonna have to do at least a part two and part three. This is just going to be a few of them. And I'm also gonna be sharing some dupes today. So I'm very excited to be sharing today. Today I'm also sitting down. I would always have to share my tea of the day. You know me, I'm sitting down with my cup of hot matcha latte. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with something that I talk about quite often on my channel. It's these Rimmel Wonder Clouds. The one that I have here is the shade Truffle Haze and it is my favorite of the shades. So the reason why I think this makes a beautiful one and done, sometimes you just want a matte one and done, right? You don't want any sparkle, the situation, I don't know, maybe it's at work and you're not trying to have a super sparkly look or something and you just want a matte shadow. This is one of the most beautiful, easy to use products Ever. I have yet to find any other products like this. The reason why it's so fantastic is because it's budge proof and it's more of a sheer product so it's definitely one of those products you don't have to be afraid of using. I kind of look look how it buffs out. It's a very very sheer product but at the same time it can give you that put together look to make you feel a little bit more done but, but not overdone you know. This shade Truffle Haze it's kind of on the cooler side but not super super cool. I had to mention this because it really truly is one of my favorites. Okay that was the only matte shadow I'm going to be talking about. The rest of these have some sort of glimmery whether they're shimmer or metallic or something. Let's talk about one that you you guys, I'm sure that if you have been wearing makeup for any amount of time, you've at least probably seen these in the store at Target or Walmart. And if you're a regular YouTube watcher, you have definitely at least at least seen these. This is from L'Oreal. This is the 24 hour infallible eyeshadow in the shade Amber Rush. So when you open it, it does have this little thingy in there to keep things from falling out. If you don't use that, it can get kind of crumbly because it's supposed to be kind of like a loose pigment. And it's not a loose pigment in the sense that you would normally think of. It's very, very creamy. But this has an intense shine to it. Check that out. So usually I would apply this with my finger and just gently buff out the edges. Look at that. I have seen this particular shade referred to as a dupe for many other high-end products, ones I haven't tried, but whenever I hear that, I'm always excited because I just like, this is such a good product that it's really, really neat to know that it also dupes other high-end products out there. Like I said, usually I would apply this with my finger, but I did try it in my little try-on video, just kind of fluffing a, a fluffy uh, eyeshadow brush in there and just kind of blending it, and it's, again, very, very pretty. I personally don't usually go for something that intense. I do prefer to buff it out a little bit, but I mean, just look at it. It's absolutely stunning. It's like the perfect rose gold because it's not too gold. It's also not too pink. And it's got a nice bit of peach to it, like burnt apricot to it as well. That just gives it an excellent undertone. You can kind of see that a little bit there where this is the type of thing where I enjoy so much where you it looks like you're wearing more than one shadow when you blend it out. So you get you know, the shiny part on your lid, but when you buff it out, the shiny part goes away, but you still have like the base pigment color underneath in your crease. This is a fantastic tone, especially, I mean, for anyone. But if you have blue or green eyes, a shade like this is really, really good. <laughs> good, I meant to say great or good, and then it came out as good. <laughs> it's really great. All right, you guys have heard me talk about this single from NARS <laughs> quite a bit, I think, on my channel, especially if you're an OG. This is one that I mentioned as one of my favorites. I just love the formula and I love the tone. So this is the single in the shade Cashmere. I admit I have not tried a ton of eyeshadow from NARS. I got this particular one at TJ Maxx and I absolutely <laughs> just fell in love with it, but I'm not sure if this is how their metallic formula normally is. All I know is that I love it. It's not super intense. I mean, it is kind of looking intense right now because I swatched it kind of heavy, but it's a very beautiful, thin formula that doesn't emphasize texture and it feels, or it look, to me, it looks like a cream on the eyelid, which is one of my favorite things to discover in a powder eyeshadow. If it doesn't emphasize texture and it just looks creamy and, and when you turn your head, you get that really beautiful kind of sparkling luminosity that's not too metallic. That is what this shade is. And of course, look at the, the undertone. It is a very wearable and gorgeous taupe. But due to my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, 
I have found what I think is actually an extremely close dupe to this, both in shade and formula, which mind-blowing to me because you know the NARS one is quite expensive <laughs> and this isn't necessarily inexpensive but it's not as expensive as the one from NARS so this is from Nabla this is the shade Chemical Bond it has the same beautiful smooth texture that isn't too metallic that looks like a cream on your lids so again this is NARS <laughs> it's just so wild to me they have the same look at that very, very similar undertones. And this is the one from Nabla. Just NARS, Nabla. <laughs> and they look the same on the eyes, you guys. I have tried it next to each other. They look exactly the same. I was so excited when I discovered this, you guys. Whenever I turn my hand, it looks like they're not the same shade just because the shades are so nuanced. But I'm trying to show you they are incredibly similar, if not dead on the same. Let's talk about another taupe eyeshadow, but it is a completely different formula. So this is from Sydney Grace, and mine looks a bit uh, sad because I dropped it and shattered it, and I didn't really fully repress it. I just kind of pushed it in there. But this is Tiara from Sydney Grace. This is an intensely foiled shadow, and I don't usually wear it so intensely foiled, but I'm gonna give you a swatch of it foiled so you can see how absolutely wild this shade is. Yeah, I accidentally got too much. It's such an intense shade. Look at that. <laughs> it's so, like it's just positively glowing there on my hand. So if you want something really, really shiny, <laughs> this one from Sydney Grace is it. But also I think my favorite thing about the Sydney Grace formula is that quite often, if you use just a little bit of the shadow and buff it out, the undertone is quite nuanced and beautiful. And that's what I find with Tiara. I'm gonna try and buff it out. <laughs> it might take a little bit since I got a heavy, heavy swatch, but you'll also see in the video of me trying it on, I put a very light layer over my lid. There, do you see the undertone? It is absolutely gorgeous. Again, it is a taupe, but in comparison to like these, I feel like it might have a little bit more mauve in it. But it's one of those shadows, again, that when used in a very light layer, sheared out and blended, it gives that beautiful, wet, luminous, hydrated cream shadow look that I love so much. But if you're really going for, you know, a popping single eyeshadow look, if you really want the shine, this is one to go for. Now let's talk about what's on my eyes today. And I think that if I hadn't told you I was wearing two different shadows, the people probably weren't thinking that, right? Like at least I, I think they look really, really close. Let's talk about the um, expensive one first <laughs> from Charlotte Tilbury. Again, I know I'm not being very original here. A lot of people love this formula. So this is the Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Shadow from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the only shade I own and I love it. This is the shade Oyster Pearl. It's super pigmented, which is why you can, looks like I barely touched it because you need the tiniest amount when using this product, but the texture is just exquisite. <laughs> it's whipped and beautifully, it's just a delicious, no, don't, don't eat it. <laughs> but that's the word that came to mind, a delicious formula. And this is the one that I have on this island. Do you see? how it just looks luminous and hydrated. And I see that I do have the tiniest bit of creasing going on, which again, with something super luminous and hydrating like this, that can happen, but that's fine. I just tapped it out a little bit and I think it looks fine. I have found this shadow to look very different on people depending on their skin tone and skin undertone. On me, it looks a lot warmer than it does on others. On others, it looks like a quite cool toned taupe. On me, I would say it's more of a bronzy taupe, even with a little bit of rosiness to it. I'm just gonna swatch it right here. Oh, it's so, so blendiful. <laughs> blendiful, blendy. It's so nice. Okay, so that is Oyster Pearl from Charlotte Tilbury. And that's what I have on this eye. But on the other eye, I'm wearing something from Maybelline, which I'm sure you guys can guess what this is because I'm definitely not the first person to mention how similar these are in color. But this is the color tattoo in the shade High Roller from Maybelline. Now they are completely different formulas. Let's get that straight. So this is like whipped and super creamy and if you, you could very, very easily get too much if you <laughs> use too much pressure in here. This is more of a firm formula. However, the shade is very similar and I find that the finish is quite close to this one in terms of looking creamy and luminous and hydrated. So let's see, we'll put the Maybelline one down below. So definitely not nearly as creamy as the Charlotte Tilbury However, 
extremely close in shade and on my eyes they look identical i don't mind having both but if you are someone who is like desperately wanting this and it's just too pricey i mean because let's be real it's, it's this is a luxury expensive product i would urge you to check out this one from maybelline again it's the shade high roller i think it's beautiful what is that on my face well i don't know how long that was there but that was like a smear of eyeshadow from <laughs> me having eyeshadow everywhere oh my gosh i have some here on my forehead too see that <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go wipe my hands i'm gonna be right back okay i think i got all the eyeshadow smears off my face from somehow <laughs> i don't know how i did that but i do have one more shadow to share and i'm kind of putting it in as a bonus as an extra because this shadow was recently discontinued and so i'm just sharing it <sighs> i'm sorry to those of you who don't have it and really want it <laughs> But I'm just sharing it in case you have it in your collection and you haven't tried it as a one and done shadow. I really would encourage you to try it. It's from Makeup Geek. Oh, and I think it's, it's the first one and done shadow that I fell in love with. And it's honestly the whole reason I decided to do this video. Because when I heard that Makeup Geek was closing, I wanted to try and mention this shadow before it got sold out. But this must be other people's favorite as well because it's gone already. Such a disappointment. But this is the shade in the spotlight. Not only is it the perfect peach which by the way i have had no success duping this if someone out there does know of a dupe for in the spotlight please tell me <laughs> i i'm in love with this shadow okay so that is how it looks and while it is a super foiled shade on my lid it doesn't emphasize texture it's a beautiful beautiful formula and i know i have a selfie from like last summer <laughs> let's see if i can find it and share it with you and how it looks as a single one and done shade. It's just perfection. <laughs> Sometimes I don't want sparkles. I find that with my hooded eyes, sparkles will fall out all over. So sometimes going with a more metallic or foiled shade is the way to go for me. But often those can be so heavy and make my lids crepey. And so I don't really wanna go to them for like a one and done look. This one is perfect. It is so, so beautiful. Like I said, it has the right amount of peachiness to it. It's not super pink. I have a lot of peach eyeshadow and I have swatched everything against this one and not a single one comes close. Either they're too bronzy or they're too pinky or they've got too much orange in them. Like nothing else is like this. So again, I beg of you, if you know, <laughs> If you know of a dupe for this or something even close to it, please share. If I find something, I will definitely share. All right, those were the shadows I wanted to share today. And like I uh, said, be prepared for a part two, maybe even a part three or more, <laughs> since I love single eyeshadows. I should say one and done eyeshadows, not just single eyeshadows. Honestly, I can make most shadows as a one and done that I can be happy with, but the ones that I'm going to mention, or the, the, but the ones that I've mentioned are the ones that I find to be especially flattering used by themselves. If you have favorite one and dones, please share them down below. I absolutely love hearing all about them. And if there are ones that you're wondering why I didn't mention them in this video, like I said, I just have too many to mention in one video. Otherwise, this would be like a 50 hour long video. <laughs> it's a bit unnecessary. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Please remember to share your favorite one and dones down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.